This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Remember, all I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. Welcome to another edition of Prozac and Coffee for Breakfast. Um, because I'm losing my job, uh, finances are going to be really tough. So one of the things that we're going to do to combat that instead of like doing a full panic and selling the house is I'm moving into my garage. So I'm going to have to convert this into a bedroom. That way I can rent out my master bedroom. It'll help offset the mortgage. So the first step uh, we're gonna do is we're going to reinforce this ceiling um, with extra lumber, that way it can carry the weight. Um, originally I was gonna go with drywall and that's probably one of the cheapest options, but drywall can be very labor intensive. Um, and getting it finished with tape, mud, texture is uh, difficult to do. So I decided to go with the same thing I did in my bedroom and do like a wood siding. So first step is we're gonna start reinforcing this uh, ceiling by adding a couple extra two by fours. Uh, that way it could handle the weight. Um, let's get started. So Copehead is um, a lesson that I learned in group therapy and when you are in group therapy you meet amazing, amazing, talented people. Um, so the song that's uh, playing in the background that's from this uh, one lady in my group. These are clamps and this is a sawzall. I'll be stopping and telling you a couple of things about the build but um, the lessons that we're going to go over today from I, something that I picked up that was important is the stop skill. These are uh, star head screws. I use these instead of the regular Phillips screw because there's more um, better control in the stripping of the screw. So I digress. Um, so back to the stop skill. Stop. S. Stop. Do not just react. Stop. Freeze. Do not move a muscle. Your your emotions may try to make you act without thinking. Stay in control. Man, I wish I knew that skill uh, when I found out I lost my job and didn't react the way I did and didn't get locked up in a psych ward for freaking the heck out. Okay, so T. Take a step back. Take a step back from the situation. Take a break. Let go, take a deep breath, and do not let your feelings make you impulsive. Um, another good thing I should have done. Um, oh, observe. Notice what's going on inside and outside, and what is the situation. What are your thoughts and feelings? What are others saying and doing? Um, you can misinterpret a lot of that when you are in an emotional state, so, you know, try to stay that, stay in wise mind, and if you don't know what wise mind is, go ahead and check out that video on the playlist, um, that explain, uh, there's an explanation of wise mind. Uh, P, proceed mindfully. Act with awareness in deciding what to do. Consider your thoughts and feelings. The situation and other people's thoughts and feelings. Think about your goals. Ask wise mind which action 
will make it better or worse. Um, I should have known these skills, or actually, you know, it, you, we were not taught these things in school. Um, usually something really bad happens, like in my situation where I lost my job and some guy was sexually harassed with my wife and I was just under a tremendous amount of pressure, um, so I snapped. But to, to reduce suffering and to increase happiness, um, you gotta use the skills that that are taught in group skills that are not taught in school and they should be taught in school like checking the facts were they really after me trying to get rid of me I think so probably but should I should I have reacted the way I did definitely not that was stupid that was like pure emotion I should have definitely used the stop skill and hopefully that would have saved me a lot of time and trouble and got me nevertheless you know what that crisis probably was the best thing that could ever happen to me because I did not know uh, how sick I was, or how severe the, the district had injured me uh, mentally through stress. Um, I, you know, tried to be the tough guy and just tried to stick it out and handle business on my own, and that bit me in the ass pretty quick, but you know, there's a, there's a good side to it. Um, I'm going to therapy every day and I'm learning these lessons. And today's lesson is the stop skill. And so hopefully some of you guys can pick up on that. And um, I'm, I'll bring you guys another one soon. Um, just trying to crank out these videos as I also try to cope ahead and not freak out because it would be so much easier to panic freak out um be totally angry at the people that i feel are responsible for me losing my position and the guy that's uh you know assaulting my wife but to cope head and to stay in wise mind you got to observe and proceed mindfully which is what I'm doing. I am using what limited construction knowledge and skill that I have to convert uh, a garage into a bedroom so that way I can move in and rent out my master bedroom and that way we could pay the mortgage and we don't have to lose the house and hopefully in the near future I could find a job. Um, thanks for checking it out, and uh, stay tuned for the next one. Hopefully this roof project won't take too long, and I'll pump out the next video of what the planks look like when they're finally installed. Uh, please subscribe. Thanks. Bye. I know it's not symmetrical and looks ugly as shit, but uh, it will reinforce this roof and so basically I'm just trying to double up on these trestles I think that's what they're called they're like little a-frames um, and I've doubled up on every other one and added some support structures and I'm starting to add sections between each one to add not just stability, but th these are what's going to be holding the basically wall siding that I'm using to put up here. It would be very easy to go run horizontal across the the main beams, but um, it's not very feng shui. 
and I got yelled at by my wife when I put in the flooring because the lines were leading out the door and somehow uh, her mother-in-law got really pissed off at me and said all the good luck's gonna fly out the door so I'm gonna go ahead and feng shui the hell out of this thing and do it the hard way by adding beams in between it would be a lot easier just to run a solid beam and nail it up there but you would lose two inches of ceiling height. I know it's barely noticeable, but um, that's just something that you would lose. And I'm sick and tired of doing everything the easy way because it always bites me in the ass. So I'm going to do it the hard way and put in a bunch of these little sections in between. Um, try to start reinforcing the A-frames on the top part. Which I'll show you a picture of that later. Uh, right now I'm working on the attic access. So I had to cut a beam and uh, put a cross beam on it. And that's going to be my attic access once this roof's done. I'm going to do two attic accesses because I'm going to put a, a wall in between here. And so like this will be the laundry room. And this messiness is going to be a bedroom. Um, this is my super cope ahead to not losing my house and renting out my bedroom. So that way I can pay the mortgage uh, since I lost my job. Um, so it's just another thing. Um, it's a fucking mess right now, but hopefully... This roof will get done soon and we'll put a skylight so we can get some window access and we're probably going to change out the garage door and go with something a lot nicer. I know I don't have money to do this. Um, it, it's probably not the smartest idea, but it will get rid of this center little motor um, and it'll stick the motor on the side of the wall so I won't have this ugly thing in my bedroom that I'll be able to... And it'll be nice to have a glass garage door in the bedroom that I can lift up and look outside. It's going to be weird, but hey, you got to do what you got to do to save the house, man. No job, no money, uh, got to pay the mortgage somehow. And so be renting out my master bedroom that has a bathroom and walk-in closet. Um, stay tuned.